Hello, in this class we will discuss about HDFS write operation. So today we will discuss that how in Hadoop distributed file system there is a write function. So first of all we have a client. So we call this as HDFS client. So this client will contact the master and the master is name node. So the very first request from HDFS client to name node is the very first request is write request. So the client will contact or send a request to the name node that I want to write some data. So now it has to perform function like name node has to perform function. So second step is that this name node will perform various checks. Now what is included in various checks which name node has to perform? So it has to check whether this file exists or permission levels etc so this name node will check all of these operations now as we know that by default How many replications should be there? So by default, DFS replication should be three. So by default, we require that there should be three files replications. So in response to this, name node will send a message back to the HDFS client. And here in this, we have a list of nodes the available nodes in which we have to write the data so for example i'm writing d3 d7 and d12 the data node 3 data node 7 and data node 12 is available so i will make here this one is my data node 3 Then we have data node 7 and we have data node 12. Now these are the data nodes available for the particular name node. Now after that HDFS client after list of available nodes available it will send message of write block because it has to write data so data node 3 will contact the same message number 4 I will mark here number 4 number 4 message is write block then with data node 12 calls now in response to this when data start written on the nodes it has to acknowledge back so fifth message is acknowledgement so, whenever the data is written on the nodes, they have to send back the acknowledgement that data is written on me. So, after that, this data node has to inform our HDFS client that the data on all the nodes has been written. So, this is basically the procedure that how we can write the data on various data nodes. As we have to write the data on the various data node, but the controller unit or the master unit is the name node. That's why HDFS client who has to write data on me has to contact first name node and then data node. So what if any case, in case of data node failure, for example, this data node fails. So this is an example that this fails. So we have a multiple copies 
Or we have a data in data nodes 7 and data node 12. So we have a backup that's why we require replications of the data. So next, so what in any case if this name node fails? So name node that's why we require to maintain a high reliable software or high reliable data set for these units for name node. So name node will notice under replication that where the data is replicated. For example, this data node is failed. So it has to think about the second available data node. So it has to make another suppose X because we require three replications. So this client, it is contacting data node 3. Then we have a data node 7 and data node that means it is forming a pipeline. Data is there in all of these nodes. So it form, it will form a pipeline of data. So we call it as data pipeline. And the procedure is data pipelining. That means to contact multiple data nodes is data pipelining. And this forms a pipeline. Complete pipeline. So in HDFS write operation which we have discussed now, we have to take care that means we have to contact a name node and then name node will give the list of nodes and after that we have to write in a multiple nodes. So this is about write operation. We will discuss its next part in our next class. Thank you so much.